Uh, my name is Miguel Salazar, um, Chicano, Mexican American, and uh, my uh, Pueblo roots come from my grandma's side, and that's actually the reason why I got involved with uh, the natives when I first got sent to prison. Um, <clears throat> I was raised in Salt Lake, my uh, family, I was raised Catholic, but my grandma, because of her Pueblo side from Taos, New Mexico, she ended up taking me to a sweat lodge with some of her friends, and I ended up sweating with her friends. They had the women and the men separated, and I sweated with the men. It was a 1993 named Arnold Thomas, which a lot of people know is pretty well known in the community. Um, <clears throat> that's where it all started for me, and you know, I kind of met a few different people, grew up a little bit, and started hanging out with the wrong crowd, smoking pot, and uh, same story as a lot of people end up go take a long, you know, a long road of agony that Winded up, I ended up winding up in prison. Um, as soon as I got to prison, they were, I heard about Conquest and, you know, this is the place to come over here. You can go to Conquest, you can do this, you can do that. And I had no idea that I was going to end up getting involved with the Native Circle or start doing that kind of stuff. I got over here, and as soon as I got over here, I um, ran to an old friend that I knew from Duchesne County, and uh, his name is Eli Burson. And I met Chris Hernandez and all the rest of the brothers here, and they got me involved. Um, I've been here for a while now. I'm a graduate, and I wanted I wanted to come and talk about it and just say that you know there was times where I just I never thought I'd get through it. There was times where I wanted to quit, go back over to Oker One, and you know there was times I went out there, I talked with them, and they're like, "Look, just just keep going. You can do it." And the help with therapy, therapy, and you know, Paul Collister, he's been my therapist for the last year, and he's he's got me through all this stuff. Even times when I didn't want to talk, he's there. You know, to pry it out of you. Um, He's a big bit of that. So, so it's really helped my recovery, and I wanted to let everyone know that, you know, that you know, everyone just sees me, I'm just the food guy. But there's more to it, you know, besides food. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this is something I'm proud of because, you know, it's, instead of my parents getting a phone call, you know, hearing about how bad I've done, or I'm arrested for this, or I'm arrested for that, they can actually get a phone call and, you know, check out the YouTube or the website and see that we're doing something positive here. Um, this is what I found while I was locked up, that my higher power held me. I'm still Catholic. I still do everything. It's just an addition to. It's something that I found in myself that brought out the, the positiveness instead of all the evilness the drugs brought. Um, <clears throat> I, I plan on continuing to do it. You know, I have a lot of help, and I just hope that you guys can find what works for you guys. With all that, that's all i got to say. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Raymond Chandler Tarrant. I was raised uh, Mexican American, 24 years old. I was raised in a Chicano household by my mother and my grandmother, Annalisa and Jeanette Luna. At a young age, I experienced, you know, a lot of street activity, drug use, alcoholism, a lot of things that just shouldn't should be brought into a childhood. I learned from those things how to commit crimes and do other negative things, so it's brought me here to prison. I must pay for my crimes that I committed. Now that I'm here, I realize that uh, there's programs here, such as Conquest, and uh, I put it forward, and granted, and brought over. And when I was here, Miguel Salazar brought me to the, uh, to the drum class. He says, hey, you know, this is a good way to find your uh, spirituality, get some wholeness in you, find who you really are. And so. Uh, I started here, and I'm, I'm here. This is my first time in prison, and you know I feel I feel really, really grateful to be here. You know, and uh, conquest is you know give me some tools to take home. I'm gonna take those home, and I'm gonna take everything I have here home. All my brothers as well, all their thoughts and feelings and everything they've taught me. They've given me some wholeness to me. You know, coming to prison for the first time is pretty scary. You know, I'm, I've only been here 90 days. You know, so, uh, like they said, you know, you want to come and find some wholeness, come in, come over, check it out, you know. I'll sit you down and see what you're all about, you know. See, see if you guys want to drum. And, you know, it worked for me, and I found some, some good stuff in it, so thank you.